Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is LJ and in today's video I am going to be vlogging my whole entire week one of my new health and fitness plan created by Max Fisher. I am embarking on a new journey and I spoke all about it in my previous video so if you haven't gotten the chance to check that out I explain a lot of stuff about weight gain and life updates and all that kind of stuff I'll leave that linked up here and also down below so you can check it out if you want to get more of an update this video is going to be my whole entire vlog of week one doing my workouts my meals and how I'm feeling so it is a completely new plan for me I've never done anything like this before it's like an online personal training and yes it went we'll see how it goes and yeah I'm gonna quit rambling now so I'll have more information in the description box check that out if you're interested and enjoy the video hello everybody and welcome to week one day one so i'm very excited i'm kind of nervous um yeah i have everything planned out for the week my food wise and i'm doing my plan with max fisher he's going to be my coach for the next 12 plus weeks so our goal is to get my overall tone on and to get down to my happy weight which is 70 kgs 68 to 70 kgs and Today is day one. I'm gonna start out with the workout. So I'll do the workout first and then I'll have my breakfast. So I'm nervous for the workout because it looks easy, but I know it's not going to be easy. So let's see how we get on. So this is the app that we use and I have everything laid out starting from today, Monday, and I have some of my meals placed in here already. And if you go in here to the full metabolic A, this is the workout I need to do. And all the videos and everything are explaining all of the exercises. So it's really ha handy to do that. And yeah, let's get started. Just finished workout number one and worked up a sweat for sure. Um, yeah it was manageable at the start it was like okay this is good but then towards the end it was like okay this is starting to struggle a little bit but it was really good and my sister chloe joined me she's nice to have company we're gonna go get some breakfast now yay mm. it is time for some lunch totally forgot to share my breakfast but if you want to check out my instagram page it is at slimming underscore lj and you can find all pictures of all of the food that I've been eating on this plant so far. So for lunch, I'm gonna be making a bagel. So right now I have some bacon medallions and some chicken frying up here and more chicken for tomorrow's dinner. And then we're gonna assemble it and make it all lovely. All right, it is dinner time. Got through all this time since the bagel. And I honestly don't even feel that hungry, which is very strange. I don't know if it's because, I don't know why really. Did it work out this morning? I don't know. Um, and it's like 8 p.m. right now as well, so it's quite late. So what I made, we have some sweet potatoes. I mixed in some peas, salmon, and broccoli. So it's very, very simple. I have some garlic on top of the salmon and salt and pepper and that is it i'm sure this will keep me full now for the rest of the night good morning it is tuesday day two week one i'm just after waking up and i feel very tired even though i had a good night's sleep i my shoulders are sore from the planking and the jumping jacks yesterday and i think i also like twisted my knees a little bit doing those jumping jacks but they're not too bad today I'm getting up now. I just had a green tea and we're gonna head out for our five kilometer walk. So my mom and sister and the doggos are gonna come with and I'm gonna bring you along with me. Is that the way you went? Just back from our walk and I almost forgot to show you lunch. I went straight, or it's actually breakfast. Went straight into cooking it straight away once we got back. 
So we have some scrambled eggs, smoked salmon, spinach on a slice of toast, and it's very tasty. Good morning. It is day three of week one. I've woken up with some eye allergies, maybe. I took an antihistamine. Hopefully it will die down. It's sunny outside, it's really nice. Yesterday, I wasn't able to eat dinner. I wasn't feeling hungry. I don't know if it's just this week or what, but I haven't been hungry at my meals, like before I'm eating, like I haven't felt hungry or the need to eat, which is very strange because usually I do eat a lot. I was very sore yesterday evening in my shoulders from the workout on Monday. And I was speaking to Max and we're going to up the program just a little bit. We are, instead of doing 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, we are going to do 30 seconds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off and an extra workout throughout the week. So um, we've bumped it up a good bit. I have an extra workout for today. Probably going to go for a walk as well just to make sure I get my steps in. And I'm currently in the middle of making breakfast, so I'm going to show you what I'm cooking. Got some eggs going, some sausages, not just for me, <laughs> and some bagels, ready to go on the toaster. And we have Mother Mary to come making bread. <laughs> just back from a walk up the road and I'm just getting ready some sweet potatoes to put into a salad for lunch so I'm going to like spice the sweet potatoes with some flavorings like smoked, smoked paprika a bit of cumin no maybe not cumin maybe like cayenne pepper and cinnamon cinnamon so I just have them all sliced up like this I have the oven preheating I'm gonna I have the bottom spritz with fry light and I'm gonna spritz them again with fry light and then pop on the seasoning Lunch is served and I tried to make it as aesthetically pleasing as possible. So we have spinach, sweet potato, egg and tuna. Mm -hmm. Let's dig in. How is it? Yummy. Yeah. We are just getting ready now for our workout today and it is the second set of workout. Oh, we need to get like bottles of water. And because um, we don't have weights here, so we just need to bulk up with some waters bottles of water um it's upped this time so monday was our first workout today's wednesday and it's going to be a little bit more intense so let's see how we get on <laughs> Just finished that workout and it was a lot tougher than Monday's workout for sure. Uh, but we got through it, even if we did struggle with a few <laughs> reps. It was good though, it was a nice workout. So next is to make some dinner and we are cooking a yesterday's steak because we never ate it yesterday and should be good. We used to be able to do 10. Oh, my legs are so wobbly. Served and we have some steak, hard to see. Steak with spinach and a slice of brown bread and some Kerrygold butter. So hopefully that will be good. Really didn't feel like making potatoes or vegetables. So hopefully this will be enough. I'm gonna pop it into my fitness pal just to make sure we're adding up the calories. And if not, we'll have a fiber one bar. Hi everyone, welcome to day four of week one. And today I woke up super tired. My muscles are aching, but I don't think I'm as sore as Chloe, maybe. <laughs> um, just having some breakfast now. We actually did the weekly shop this morning and I was supposed to get up earlier to do breakfast, but sleep won, sleep won that battle. And um, I'm gonna show you what I have. So last night, I just want to say, I'm gonna show you later how I plan out the week. So last night I was planning the whole entire week ahead for meals and just making sure that we get all the food that we need, especially during quarantine when we're only supposed to be going out once a week. 
and um, yeah I'm gonna show you how I plan out my whole entire weeks but first have a look at breakfast so we have a slice of brown bread I have 10 grams of soft cheese 35 grams of salmon some spinach and some scrambled eggs so that's going to be our light little breakfast and I'm gonna have some tea as well so this is my Nana box and this is the brand that I use for writing everything down in my diaries and planning the weeks ahead. So I have all of my <laughs> planning stuff in here and keeping everything track. So this is this previous week. So we have all of the meals worked out and then I have up until Tuesday next week. So we usually do the shopping on a Wednesday or Thursday but I'll be able to figure out some smaller details the day before at least anyways. But I have all of these days planned out, thankfully. And then I have, this is a 12 week journal. So this would be ideal for the 12 weeks that we're doing right now. So before now, I was filling in the weeks and I have, those are previous weeks. I didn't plan as well, but I would always plan the dinners and you write in all your goals and everything and you just keep a track of everything that you're eating and it really does help. Now I do have a few gaps here and there, <laughs> but I do like to go coloring and stuff and just tracking everything and I use a mood tracker then here as well to see how I'm feeling. And a bit of coloring as well, it's a bit therapeutic. I just like to sit down at the end of each day and just kind of write everything in just to make sure I'm staying on track. And yeah, I really enjoy it and it makes you feel more mindful about what you're eating. If you have to write it down, you might think twice about actually eating it. And you have to be like 100% super honest in these types of diary tracking for weight loss. So I have like a weight loss, I made one here, tracker and just goals and everything like that. And I have a little to-do list, it's like a daily planner. So you're cute, it's just like a little note bed. And then Nana also do like well-being journals. So this is like an offline journal. So stuff to take you away from being offline. It's really cool. You have some coloring bits, some journaling and some habit trackers and all that kind of stuff. It's such a nice journal. I haven't started it yet, but I'm definitely going to be looking into that. A few other bits and pieces, stickers, and I have another blank 12-week journal to start when I finish the other one. So those are all what I do to plan out the week. Usually the, the day before... I go do the weekly shop, I plan out everything and just try and pick up as much as possible all at once. So everything goes back into its little home. So I'd highly recommend it if you are thinking about doing some kind of weight loss, um, just to grab a journal. I have a discount code for these guys, so I'll list that down on the screen and in the description box. And yes, that's Nana Dairy. They're an Irish brand and yeah, they have some really beautiful journals. Just finished lunch and going up for a, oh my God, I can barely go up the stairs. Just going up to change into some more sportsy clothes. <laughs> Not that I have any nice sportsy clothes, but we're gonna go for a walk up the mountain. It's a tough walk. It's um 5.5 kilometers. First three kilometers are uphill and then the rest is downhill. And I think my body isn't as sore as Chloe's is because I take glucosamine supplements. Just back from the mountain walk now and it was tough because my legs are so sore especially going downhill and i'm gonna make some lunch now <laughs> i'm gonna make some lunch now which is chicken avocado spicy wrap so i have the chicken frying up on the fryer i've been like separating out all the meat from the shopping earlier and just like putting things into the freezer and marking the days and all that kind of stuff just preparing so let's make the wrap
I'm just making some dinner. I'm making dinner for the whole family, but we're going to have some when we're hungry. So I'm just gonna have the bolognese made. So I'm making spaghetti bolognese. So I have my 5% lean fat mince, tomato puree. Well, I only need one, that's a full one. I have some fresh chopped thyme frozen, garlic frozen, Italian herb, oregano, two beef stock cubes, they're both different stock cubes but I'll use them both. I think one is like for gravy, but it's actually fine inside there. I've used it before. Two tins of chopped tomatoes, and in here I have, it's hard to see, let me turn on the light. Pew. I have some onions and peppers going on in there. So I've added all this into my fitness pal, just to make sure I have, you know, the right calories for the day. And I'm gonna have some tagatelli with this. Do we, do we type one? I'll show you. This one I get in drums. So it's tagatelli. But down here you can see that is Italian Durham wheat semolina and pressed through traditional brown fries. So this one is really really nice and I think I input 100 grams into my fitness pal and it's still allowing it within my calories for today but that's a lot 100 grams of that would be quite a lot so I think usually I would only have about 60 but I'll see how we get on. We got some bolognese with tagatelli pasta 25 grams of cheese on top and some spinach resting underneath. Yay! Good morning it is Friday. I'm so <laughs> tired I don't know why I keep waking up extremely tired. I slept in this morning but I'm just making some breakfast. So what I have here is... I have 100 grams of cork, banana, granola, and blueberries and some manuka honey. So I'm excited about this. I'm super sore again today. Not as sore as yesterday, I don't think. Like a different type of sore. I don't know. I'm just very tired as you can tell. For lunch today, just having a bagel with some Linda McCartney sausages, fried egg, and a bagel. <laughs> I think I said that already. <laughs> I'm having the laziest day ever. I postponed our workout till tomorrow. <laughs> oh, he's here sniggering. <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> um, just made a stir fry for dinner. Chicken and brown rice and lots of vegetables, including asparagus. And hopefully it will be nice. I don't know if it will be or not, but hopefully it will be. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have a little bit more energy. I think there's something in the house because Everyone's everyone is really tired and the weather had a change today as well. It's like a bit more rainy. And, um, yeah, we're all just wrecked today. No idea what's going on. So we're all having a lazy day. Um, but I'm glad I got up and cooked all our meals and everything. So it's all good. Good morning. It is Saturday today. Just eating breakfast and realized that I forgot to show you what I'm having. I'm having a slice of brown bread, soft cheese, salmon and scrambled eggs and I have some chives sprinkled on top. Yesterday's dinner turned out to be really nice and tasty and feeling much better today. Yesterday I woke up super tired, today I'm feeling much better, much more able for a workout today for sure. Still a little bit sore in the legs but not anything crazy so we're gonna do our full body workout today i got absolutely no steps in yesterday because i was having such a lazy day and was so tired and sore from week one but we're up the mountain now again and we're going to go for a walk with millie and mom and my sister are coming as well so getting the steps there Right, we are back from our walk and straight away I'm cracking at food. So have lunch made and went for the tuna sweet potato egg salad again. I'll just show you. This is it here. I added in a little bit of carrot this time. Looks good. It is time for our third workout of the week. And 
is afternoon and we kind of said we'd start doing the workouts before dinner. Now Chloe's setting out the mats there. Cool. <laughs> We're gonna do it on the tarmac this time because... I found the last time that my knees really hurt <laughs> after doing the jumping jacks. So we're going to do it on the tarmac and hopefully my knees won't be as sore. <laughs> I feel like such an old lady's complaining about my knees, but I think the grass was just a little bit unlevel or something. So we're gonna get this done. We are just finished the workout now. It was good. Um, Definitely those jumping jacks are hurting my knees. So I'm going to have to get onto Max about that. See if he can change it for me. And for sandbag drags we use my little brother's school bag. Um, so instead of jumping jacks we had to last three or four did crunches instead. Um, just so I was, I was doing something and not hurting my knees. It felt like they were just going to collapse. Like my knees were just going to go in front of me. So I said I better stop, but I'll say it to Max tomorrow when we have our check-in on the Sunday morning. So dinner time next. I had chili con carne in the freezer that I made um, from scratch. So I know what's in it 100% is all quite healthy. So I am going to make that with some brown rice. Just having some dinner. We both didn't really feel like having rice, so I'm just having some chili and some of Hobus bread. Just one. It's actually nice with the chili. Just dipping it in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this chili is really good. It's quite spicy, but um, I made it like a few weeks ago and it's still perfect from the freezer. Thankfully, saving my ass today. Good morning everyone, it's Sunday. So today's my last day of documenting the whole entire week and I've made some breakfast. Sunday morning breakfast, it's the same as yesterday. I'm trying to use up the salmon before it goes off and I am baking some sourdough bread as well this morning. So I have salmon, soft cheese, scrambled eggs, a bit of chive on top and a whole bit of seedless sensation bread. So let's get this day started. I also got my check-in link from Max today, so I'm gonna check that out for the first time and see how that goes. My knees also feel very sore again today from those jumping jacks, I think. So we'll see what alternative we'll be doing a different exercise instead, hopefully. I have zero motivation again today. I don't know, is it because quarantine or because I'm so tired from everything this week? <laughs> Uh, but I'm still determined to continue going as I always am and hopefully next week will be a better week um, Max also gave me some different exercises to do instead of jumping jack because of my knees I don't know what's wrong with my knees. I uh, never had an issue with my knees But never really do jumping jacks either. So I have no idea what's going on there. So hopefully next week will be better I'll be documenting on Instagram instead of here next week from week two week three and i'll be back on doing a full week week four here and i'll do a what i eat in a day as well in between my two weekly vlogs for dinner today i had steak and bread i made sourdough bread and i might have skipped lunch i feel like i'm having a proper rest day today i guess two days out of the seven isn't too bad friday was kind of a rest day as well and got zero steps in I'm gonna have to up my step game for sure for next week I really did I skipped lunch because I didn't feel like cooking I feel like I've been cooking breakfast lunch and dinner all week this week it just feels like a lot especially when I have a history of panic attacks while cooking and I know these meals aren't anything stressful whatsoever and I know it helps me and keeps me calm now but it's a lot of work for me and it's not something I enjoy. I enjoy making tasty food, but the whole process of it freaks me out a little bit still, but hopefully I will get over that and become more of a routine for me. I guess it's the first week of ever, you know, usually I'd have a nice breakfast, lunch, I'd decide on the day, dinner is always set out. So now I have to have like everything completely set out and stick to it to make sure I see the results. So it is a little bit more challenging, but I'm always up for a challenge. I always say that. Week one, done and dusted. I feel like I got on really, really well. Um, my legs were really, really sore after the second workout for sure. Um, I feel like I'm eating a lot of food and there's a lot of food prep going in and 
you know, we're in a time that is quarantine, everything is locked down, everything is closed. So I don't really have much of an opportunity to be working at the moment and it's easy to be preparing. But I think I would struggle for sure. I'd have to be a lot more organized if I was like working to keep up with all of the food. But I think I did really, really well in week one. So I'm going to be back again doing a vlog on week four to see how we're getting on, like a little update. And in between, I'm going to have a what I eat in a day on the plan as well. If you want more information on the plan, everything will be listed down below. Definitely check out Max. He's amazing, so supportive, so informative and easy to follow like all of the plan is so simple to follow the app is easy to follow so far so good so i'm excited and kind of scared for what's to come but i'm also super excited to feel and see the results of the personal training and the nutrition plan so if you enjoyed the video then don't forget to hit subscribe to see more and i'll be back again with a vlog like this in in for week four and I hope to see you all again. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.